This is a true horror story that's well known in my hometown. At the time, there was a couple in my village who lived with their younger brother. One day, a man from the village dashed to their house and knocked on the door. The man was panicking, dashing inside and held. Dead! Your brother is dead! The older brother was mortified, unable to believe what he had heard and repeatedly asked the man to please correct himself. But this man insisted that his brother was hunting with him when he slipped and fell into a stream. The older brother and his wife were astounded to hear this. As a result, the two followed the man and hurried to the forest's edge to check on his brother's situation. When they arrived, they noticed that there were many people standing around. Everyone was talking about the accident. At the time, it was extremely difficult for the couple to get through the crowd to see how their brother was doing. On the spot, his brother was soaking wet, pale and motionless on the ground. But his eyes were still open and dreamy, staring at the couple as if clinging to life. When the couple noticed this, they rushed to assist their younger brother. The older brother pressed his ear to his brother's heartbeat hopelessly, seeing that he was still alive. Thinking that there was still a chance to save his life, the older brother and his wife brought him home. The house was now filled with the cries of the wife and the younger brother who was now lying motionless on the bed. The couple's worry and grief were clearly visible on each person's face. All they had to do now was wait for him to take his last breath. However, a wheezing sound came from his mouth at that moment. The couple was taken aback by the expression. The couple had just turned to look at their brother when he sat up like a spring. But this time his face was very frightening and his eyes were lifeless. When the wife noticed that her brother was awake, she couldn't contain her joy and cried and called him, but he didn't answer and just sat with his back to the couple, looking very strange. Immediately after that, he crawled onto the bed and stood up awkwardly, squirming like a zombie. He walked like a child learning how to walk, his mouth still smiling with a devilish grin. But then he collapsed back on the bed. When the wife saw her brother like that, she assumed he had just drowned. So he was tired, dizzy and couldn't stand. Concerned for his safety, she immediately ran to help him. But when she got close to him, she felt a cold from the younger brother's body. As soon as she touched his body, the younger brother turned to face his older brother and sister-in-law with a strange expression. He had a crazy smile on his face. His eyes were white and his irises were cloudy. He looked insane. After that, the younger brother jumped to the ground from the bed with all his legs and arms and ran out of the room as fast as an arrow. He dashed out, aiming for the door. The couple looked at him in surprise, not sure if it was because he was shocked by drowning and wondering where he could run to. Concerned about their brother, the couple decided to go out and find him. They both looked around the corner and called out their brother's name, but there was no response. After searching for a while, the husband discovered his brother in a garden corner, performing a terrifying action. He sat in front of the chicken coop door before reaching inside and catching a large rooster. His next move surprised and shocked the couple. His mouth only smiled satisfiedly before he bared his teeth, grabbed the rooster hard and sucked its blood. Seeing his brother's scary expression, the couple rushed to hold him, but at the same time, he seemed to have become insane and difficult to control. When the husband noticed this, he stopped him, but he struggled, as if he wanted to get out. The husband, who was no longer strong enough to stop him, had to rely on his wife's assistance to bring him into the house. As if sensing something, the husband quickly wrapped a blanket around his body and tied him up with ropes. He hummed angrily like an animal, not saying anything. The wife suspected that their brother had gone insane after falling into the stream. When the wife discovered that her brother was behaving strangely, she was taken aback and questioned her husband who showed a cold demeanor. Suddenly the two were drawn to a strange phenomenon from their younger brother which made them extremely scared. In front of them was no longer the usual gentle little brother, but a scary demon. His face changed dramatically, turning monstrous. His eyes turned blue and he grumbled like a demon. 
because the husband knew his judgment was correct. He told his wife to stay at home to watch over his brother, while he ran to the next village to invite the shaman over to do an exorcism. Later, the husband and the shaman who was known as the best shaman in the area arrived at the house. The wife was standing outside and she said that she dare not go inside because he would go insane whenever he saw someone. With a thoughtful expression on his face after hearing the wife's explanation, the teacher went to observe the younger brother's situation. The husband was concerned and he was a little impatient to ask the shaman, but the shaman simply stated that his brother had died. When the wife heard it, she couldn't believe it. Why was her brother still able to move when he's dead? The shaman then asked the couple if they had recently seen a golden ferret around the house, which surprised him. After thinking for a while, the couple told the shaman that their brother had caught and killed a stray golden ferret in the yard last week. As soon as the shaman heard this, he asked the couple to bring him a pair of scissors. The wife immediately did as she was told. The husband then followed what the shaman told him, assisted his brother to stand up and watched the shaman gently walk away to perform the spell. When confronted with the shaman, the younger brother was now screaming like a maniac. The shaman held the scissors in front of him and muttered an exorcism spell. Hearing the shaman's voice, the younger brother became more aggressive, turning around and shouting, baring his teeth to threaten the man. The strangest thing was that the younger brother did not speak any human language but only called out in unknown voices. Seeing this, the shaman became enraged and held angrily. If you don't go, I will cut off your tail. He was now struggling and screaming, making it difficult for the older brother to hold him. After that, as soon as the shaman finished the spell, he grabbed something invisible in the air and cut it in front of the couple with his scissors. As soon as the action ended, the younger brother groaned as if he was in pain. Following that, his entire body trembled, his face turned purple, but his eyes were gentle and calm. After that, the younger brother arrived in agony. After a while of shaking, he stopped moaning but fell to the ground. The couple saw this, immediately ran to him, but the younger brother was lying motionless. His body was cold, and he didn't wake up. Witnessing that scene, the shaman announced with a sad voice that the young brother was gone. Then he quietly left. Both husband and wife burst into tears as they looked at the cold corpse. His brother's funeral was held in an uncomplicated manner. But ever since, there had been a golden ferret with its tail missing, running back and forth in front of the couple's house.